il genere umano è interessante, ma alcune persone sono più interessanti di altre. Ci siamo incontrati a Firenze, a una mostra, alla stazione Leopolda. Sono un professional skateboarder, quindi so travel around skateboarding and uh, going on skateboard trips all over the world and I usually go with a group of kids, other skaters and this is kind of a documentary of our lives and what we do and how we do it and the people we encounter along the way so I don't know how to explain it exactly I think it's some something like a, a visual diary but most of the time it's just shooting as a tourist <laughs> A tourist of life, I guess. Io semplicemente volevo conoscere meglio e vedere il suo mondo. Per Cristiano era più un fatto di fotografia. E Chef, in fondo, il punk viene da là, da Los Angeles, dalla California. Questo è l'omaggio alla paura del buio. Questo l'ho preso la zoologia, la sapienza, ci stanno tutti gli animali sotto barattolo, alcuni sono sezionati come questo. Questo era uno squalo in realtà, poi un giorno un mio amico l'ha girata e ha trovato la ballerina dentro lo squalo. Questa qua alla fine non l'ho toccata ma c'ha la faccia e il naso e sta e c'ha il bacino e le braccia che stanno su e stava già là. È così. Cioè, non c'è nessuno dentro. Siamo andati in America a conoscerlo meglio, ad Antinto Beach, a casa sua, a Los Angeles, in California. This is the, the main street in Huntington Beach. Not the main street of business, but just uh, the old main street. They've been developing this street like it used to be like this, all small, small buildings, R really nice. And then they started doing this. When I was a kid, this was not, this was like that side. But now it's huge, big. All down here is new. It's a weird place, but it's good for skateboarding. And it's home now. I mean, I've lived here for so long that it's, uh, 
No, I mean, I can move. I think I can move away easily. But because of skateboarding and, and the skateboard industry is here in California, it's the best to uh, stay close to the where skateboarding is. Went to school there. I went to that church uh, for fifth grade for a Christian school. Oh. And uh, when I was younger, we went there for church every Sunday. It was a great time. No, it's a bad time. <laughs> Just as just a skate rat, you know, only skating, just every day. That's all I thought about. That's all I cared about. That's all I cared about was skating. Yeah, just, that's it. Nothing else mattered. I dropped out of school, you know, in the last year, 12th grade, but I never finished high school. And uh, why? You don't? for skateboarding. <laughs> mm. My grandfather was very wise and he taught me a lot of things and the one thing he taught me was how to learn from other people's mistakes. And so when I was young, I would see all my friends, and they'd be getting wasted, and that was it. They'd just sit there, and they would do nothing. And I could see that as a mistake. To me, I was like, okay, these guys are just wasting their time. My father was smoking pot, and my mother, and they would get, they would get drunk, and I'd come, as a kid, I, they would be drunk, like passed out in the house, and we'd just be sitting there like, you know, I had sort of a, a strange upbringing. We were, we were very poor, and, and uh, you know, for all, for all what I've been through, I should be a fuck up, you know? And there was really a, a good uh, swing. They made out of a tree. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it fell. Can I take your picture holding your gun? Thanks. Me? Yeah. Capture me. Can I take your picture holding yeah. your gun up? Yes. I'm trying to get a... What's this for? Just for, uh, I'm shooting a whole photo essay on this whole place. We just did the, uh... Are you like turn into a police or something? No, of course not. I have airsoft guns too. Yeah, alright. Alright, you came on. What's the rules of an airsoft war? Is there no Shooting rules? Something. There's rules. You can't like, go if you get on hit, the very, what is that? If you get hit, One you're, shot, out. you're out. Once you so get you hit. just have to sit out for a yeah, second? Yeah, you sit out way over there. In until, you, until the next game's out. Yeah. Until the next game. And who wins? The last person who doesn't get hit? 
No, it, yeah, it's, it's whoever it's if you have like if you have like three people on your team and like only one and then you shoot that one, whoever's once your whole team's out, then the other team's out. Did you get hit in the face? Yeah, you can still out. I've gotten hit in the face no, like five times. Well yeah, if you don't have like these. Yeah, because I was playing in a hotel room once and hotel. I didn't, we didn't have goggles and I got so close to the eye. And it was pretty close, like about like from where you are to like and I, it kind of bled and stuff. Oh, like right here? Yeah. Right, in, yeah, right above the eye. And it uh, sketched me out because you could lose an eye, you know? Yeah, I was shot right here. And, and sketchy, like, right? you have to have goggles to play. Yeah. Or else like we don't let you play. What, what is yeah, this it's a good idea to have goggles. There's nothing like shooting stuff to eat. Are you going for animals or are you just shooting cans? Uh, shooting whatever we can find. Whatever, maybe whatever we can. Yeah. <laughs> like, kill me? Big. Let's go right now. Hey, yeah. show. Sure. I got it. Uh, that was fun. Okay. Scared me. Are they gonna get? Are the kids gonna get pitched out of there? Go, go higher. Go. You need some help. Yeah. 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 Right here. Right here. All the way, you wanna go all the way up? No, that's too far. All the way Ready. One. Two. Two. Hey, we should make a jump in the middle, dude. Yeah. Hell for the eyes. Hey, just make a uh, jump. All right, David. You have a shovel? Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. A moment. Yeah. Let's go. Adrenalized. Mi sono spaccato una bolla che c'avevo sul culo. Non ci vedo più. Yeah. C'è tutta, tutta in polverato davanti. <laughs> Ah sì, guarda. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, you landed it, Joe. Alright, we need a sister. No, you don't. No, you don't. Alright, see you guys. Hi. Bye, guys. I'll bring my gun next time. See if you guys are here. You guys can work me. <ride> Fa succedere delle cose, ma in realtà se non stai attento non, non ti accorgi di niente, insomma, non continua a fare la sua vita normalissima. Però non lo so, c'è qualcosa di strano comunque. Alla partenza dalla collinetta era, ecco, i ragazzini si divertono, io muoio. In the 1990s when I everything changed. I went to Europe, 
came back here and con compared and contrasted what I what I saw in Europe and what I saw here and it was just wow this is really strange you know because I thought I grew up here my whole life and this was the center of my universe this this area I thought this was all normal this is how everything should be it's a, this is normal and then I went and saw the rest of the world and it was like you know what these people live better than we do. I came back with a, a fresh look about everything and it was just like, okay, I'm going to become a painter. That's it. <laughs> and started painting and, I, and my first ones were really bad, you know, they sucked. But I just kept doing it because I loved it. I wasn't doing it f because I had an art show or because I was selling it, it was just for fun. I was a pro skateboarder so I had enough time and money to do what I wanted and I just took my time painting and that was uh, 13 years ago now. The year I turned pro for skateboarding is the year I started really doing artwork and and about two years after that I started doing a company so I've been doing the same company artwork and skateboarding for you know the last 10 years and uh, each thing has grown bigger and bigger it's kind of crazy I just feel fortunate and I think if I had to put it put a, uh, a reason on it, it would just be sincerity, I guess. I really, the things I do, I believe in. I try to do it nicely. I, I try to do it without fucking people over. Did you, did you never try to skate? Me? Yeah. No, I tried. I didn't like falling. You didn't like falling. No. I tried really hard too. No, if you didn't like falling, it's not really your game. I mean, like you could play a bit like, like the mother of John Lennon. Second, they are they are found at the same time. I don't know. It seems. She's like my assistant. She helps me with everything. I mean, because I, I have enough where she doesn't have to have a job to for us to survive. So she can spend her time shooting photographs, helping me do all the work I have to do with Toy Machine. I'm like, Ed will shoot anything and everything. I have some specifics. I, I don't. It really has to catch my eye to shoot the photo. I just, he's always telling me, just shoot, just shoot, waste film, it doesn't matter. I can't do that. If it doesn't grab me, I can't shoot. Those girls, I thought, especially the one with the glasses, I thought she was pretty cool looking with her braces. A really full mouth, like she was just, re she was just really interesting. I, I love the braces, the braces was adorable. <laughs> I met him through his best friend was another skateboarder, Jason Lee, and he was dating my best friend. And I don't, I just got something for him. We, me and my girlfriend decided to skip school one day and go see the Red Hot Chili Peppers play in LA and she wanted to bring her boyfriend to go skate. And so he brought Ed and we just met. We actually never made it into the co into the concert. Ed was skating that day and it got really hot and he was like, he was 15, he was really poor. And so I felt bad for him. So I thought, okay, I'll buy you a soda to have something to drink. And when I gave it to him, this, his friend Jason came and just ripped it from his hands and Ed looked up with these big green eyes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then, 
I just told my girlfriend the other day, or like a day after, that I thought that guy was really cute and nice. And she told him, and he was excited because I was an older woman. <laughs> and I, I'm three years older. And then after that meeting, we just we went to we all got together, went to the movies one night, and he gave me a kiss goodnight. And then the second time we went out, I went to watch him skateboard, and he just asked me if I was his girlfriend. And I looked at my friend, and she kind of looked at me like, you know. And so I turned to Ed, and I'm like, sure. And we've never broken up or been apart since. <laughs> when I'm sick, and I'm vomiting on the ground. Uh, she's picking it up, you know. She's cleaning it up for me. <laughs> And I do, and I try to do the same for her. Cause Deanna is really an innocent person, you know. She's very nice and very innocent, and she, she lo she's, she loves things. But she's also lying a little bit, cause she hates a lot of things too. Certe volte l'ho trattato come il figlio, cioè si vede proprio la soddisfazione di una madre qua. Soddisfazione. Per certe cose, lei, lei mette a bacchetta molto lui. Lo fa, lo fa ragionare, lo fa rigare dritto, però loro sembrano innamorati. E eh, loro avevano due gatti lì a casa, un loro vicino di Huntington Beach ha sequestrato il gatto e non, e non gli dice dove l'ha messo. Ovviamente l'avrà ammazzato. I don't want to kill things. I don't want to go to war and kill people. I don't want to kill an animal. It's not my place to, uh, you know, play God. I'm not going to go up to another living creature and say, I want to eat you, so I'm going to kill you. Ma voi preso davvero? Io mi schiavo. Così mi ha ridotto il naso tutto scritto. Ah. <ride> Niente male comunque. Veramente qua o, o sei veganiano o sei obeso, no? I go to the, uh, the natural food store. It's not a big chain store. It's not a, owned by a big company. It's owned by a few people who are doing this. And I, th there's where my money goes. My money gets spent on that store. So that store stays in business. Because they carry products that the big stores don't. It's alternative, you know? And all around, like a record shop, try to buy my records from the record shop, the small record shop owned by the single guy. I don't spend money on McDonald's as a point. Even if they, even if, you know, Burger King just came out with like a veggie Whopper, you know? And all the vegetarians are stoked, like, yeah, Burger King, we got them to change, you know? <laughs> they're, they're making a, they're making some products for us now and they're, and they go buy it. And for me, it's like, I, no. Burger King can suck a dick the whole time, you know? Is this their special song? Yes, it is. There's a special Christy sandwich. Hi! <laughs> Advertising is just uh, creeping into our world at a crazy rate. I mean, it's everywhere. They put ads everywhere. And especially here, I, mean, I don't know if you've noticed, like, everywhere you look is an ad of some type. type and It's like, uh, it's disgusting, I mean. Ho trovato sto colluttorio nuovo, <laughs> che non si trova in Italia. Come si chiama? Yak, Yak Daniel. Yak Daniel. E poi faccio la pubblicità fuori, faccio lo spot di Yak Daniel. Per il mio mal di denti ho trovato finalmente la soluzione. Ma non è questa, aspetta. Vabbè, la tecnologi comunque si ha, la hanno bella sviluppata. No? <laughs> Vomitavo come un secchio, poi ho preso il Pepto Bismol. Pepto Bismol, il secchio se tappa. In un colore che manco i sette nani lo facciamo così. Manco i sette nani. <laughs> Things in my hands. Yes. Yeah, crazy. 
guys doing out there? We're gonna go to this cow town contest. Oh yeah. Thanks. Check it out. Yeah, which one? Yeah, which one? Desert West? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you the skater? I guess so. Yes. <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? My granddaughter was just asking. We were over here at Burger King. We saw everybody taking your picture and stuff. We were just wondering. Oh, no. Ed Templeton. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that, Don. That's what moms are supposed to do. If you want, sure. <laughs> There's an amateur contest, so I'm gonna go check out. Welcome to Phoenix, nigga! Skateboarding came from surfing because in, uh, in the 60s, when the surfers, when the waves were flat, no waves, they would build, uh, they built skateboards to practice surfing, you know, like on the sidewalks. It started in Southern California. It became uh, its own thing, and uh, but still, it's illegal, no matter what. Even though. Especially, you think it wouldn't be, it would be legal here in Surf City, where, you know, in Southern California, where surfing started and skating started. Uh, you think it would be legal to skate. You think the cops and, the, and the, the people would be nice, you know, to skating, but they're not. Skateboarders are tougher than the than the general population. I mean, we, you know, I don't like pain, but when it happens, it's like, I don't cry about it as much as uh, maybe some, like if Deanna fell and hurt her knee, I mean, it would be a big deal, like, oh, my knee. Uh. And for me, it's like, fuck, there you go. <laughs> it's done. Like, <laughs> what can I do? Because it happens so much. So, and there's some people who are, take it to the next level where they're into pain like yeah who cares I'm just gonna fall on my face and I'm gonna love it like check it out I have scars yes <laughs> they get psyched on it but <laughs> This is broken, something. But now, today, yeah. You like to watch? I like to watch what happened. You should try getting on skateboard. It might be some fun. I had to go in surgery. They had to take out all the fluid that was inside my knee. They had to put a big old brace on. I had a brace on for six months. Couldn't skate, and that was like my worst, worst thing ever. Every time I do that, I go make myself do something harder just to make that worthwhile. That's how I see it. Don't do anything that just. See, there's like there's some skaters around here that try to skate and they try to act all good and they're basically posers. Don't try to be something you're not. Be yourself. He's gonna be good too. You're gonna be good. You like skate. Yeah. It's your film. Yeah, he, he'll be even better. He's better. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, on the grass running into the park. Jumped jumped on the concrete, but as I was jumping on the concrete, I was 
doing a 360 true in the air and landed it and then it hit the ground and then all across my nose and I thought for sure it was broke for sure thanks your name Brent Brent yeah I have to wait for this. Uh, so how many days? I have to wait seven more days before I get this looked at to see if there's anything torn in my rotator cuff. Okay, seven days not so much. Huh? Yeah, I know. You can't yeah. resist. Yeah, yeah, I can. I'm not gonna be able to skate for probably at least a year. Yeah, six months. I'm just laid up, can't really do shit. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, it's not good. Huh? Yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back in at it. In 2000, year 2000, I broke my neck. And I had never broken a bone, ever, in 15 years of skating. Not a finger, nothing. Maybe a wrist, but I never went to the hospital for it. So, officially, broken neck was the first bone. And as uh, two of my two of my vertebrae, uh, C6 and C7, it broke the sides off of them. I, I was skating at a contest in Switzerland and I was trying to uh, board slide across a handrail type thing and it just stuck and fell right, right on top of my head like from upside down, upside down like <laughs> Like, I thought I just hit my head and, you know, I was like sitting there like, fuck. Ugh. And there was lots of blood. And then when I tried to get up, yeah, my neck muscles didn't work. I was, oh shit, I'm just going to stay down. <laughs> and then they came and got me and took me to the hospital. And when I came home, I had to wear a collar, like, <sighs> had like a piece of, me piece of plastic here like this. So I couldn't put my head down or up or had to stay perfectly for four months. When it came off, I did exercises and therapy and and then started skating again. We have a thing in skateboarding where, because we're filming tricks and it's like, if I make it, I'm happy, I have it on film, I can use it for a video, or if I just kill myself, I have that on video too, and if we sh do the slime section. Just heard the best trick is also Yo, after the finals. Get your rap or take it, never mind. It's, it's a mental thing. It's mm -hmm. society is making it like that. Because I think if there was no rules in society for men and women ever, that women would be skating the same as men. Più che altro, appunto, ho visto solo tre donne, tutti uomini. Ho chiesto una che mi ha detto che le donne hanno paura di farsi male. In 96 or 7, Toy Machine is the first company to turn a girl pro. We had a girl on our team, Alyssa Steamer, yeah. and she's. Uh, and I'm proud of this because I think I helped open it again, like pave the way, like be forward thinking and try to tell everyone, like, hey, it's okay to have a girl on your team. It's no, it's no big deal. And uh, we treated her the same as the boys. Where were we before 
before we came here, Johnny. I think a lot of girls are uh, scared to get hurt. <laughs> that's what I think. I think that's why a lot of girls don't skate and guys maybe like to get hurt. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I have a few girlfriends that skate, um, but a lot of the girls I know just always say they don't want to. They don't want to fall. They don't want to get hurt, so they don't. Really, they don't really try. It's sad. They might enjoy it. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean that whole product tossing is a is a strange world because the guys who are doing it they get their like five seconds of fame being the guy that everyone wants like yeah 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 and they love doing it like yeah I'm throwing it I'm the cool guy what's up they got the kids all there and you know I I try not to do product tosses like that independent Senate independent Spitfire Osiris industrial. Thunder Trucks, uh, Lucky, and Shorties, and then we got some high pass stickers. The kids love the free stuff, that's part of skateboarding, like giving away some uh, promotional product to the kids, but for me, I let the other guys do that, the other guys have fun, they throw it, I always take some stuff and I find the kid with, a, with the most shitty board, like, oh look at your board, that's, here you need a new board man. Because usually it's the big strong guy that gets the board, you know? There's like all these little kids and one big strong guy and you throw the board out and the big guy just <laughs> grabs it. <laughs> I have my board, signed by Jeff Rowley right, wait, Jeff Rowley's right there. Oh, this is Stanford. Yeah, it's quite old man, huh? But yeah. I couldn't imagine being a dick, you know, being mean to him. And a lot of guys are, a lot of pros are like, no, get away from me, I can't deal with it right now. Actually, I'm from Hull, uh, California. Yeah. Where, yeah. Which part of California? Burbank. Burbank. Yeah. How is it here? Oh, really? It, I don't like it here, really. I mean, it's cool, though. I mean, the parks are good, the people are pretty friendly, you know, so it's pretty awesome. I'm glad to see some of the pros get out here. It's a pretty nice park, so. Awesome. Hurts a lot right here. Uh, I that's, so, that's, that's like. Yeah, it's 30 years old and <laughs> it hurts worse. <laughs> you mean it's illegal? Because we'll probably be skating on someone's property or something. Mm. And it's illegal. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, it's supposed you ruin the, the, the cement? <laughs> I yeah. don't understand. Yeah? yeah, they get angry. And there's also uh, people like to sue everyone here. You know? Skateboarding comes from suburbs, yeah. And from cities. It has any place where there's cement is where skating is. What is the thing that you have to do to make this stuff? Oh, to make it flip? A flip, yeah. I don't know, like, pop your feet, pop it, like right over here. Just yeah. like, flick your feet, kind of. Oh. Like. If I was 
starting right now, I, I wouldn't be a successful pro. But because I've, met, I've been a lot around for so long, people know me, you know? It's like uh, my name is uh, recognized because I've been around for so long. That's, that's it, I mean, and because I, I made my mark in the early 90s, and so now I'm a, a veteran, you know? They say, okay, this guy's a veteran, he's been around, he's, he's cool, like, and you're accepted for that. For us, you know, the thing that someone else looks at, like, oh, who cares, a curb? To us, it's like, oh, a curb, great. <laughs> we want to skate that. Self cam. The parks are fun. It's a nice place to go and gather with your friends and skate and it's, it's legal and everything's fine. But it's always about going to be about the streets. And that's the battle, the continual battle between security guards and skateboarders. <laughs> Secondo me tutte quelle culate che ha dato le ha date perché stava cercando di fare un paio di trick veramente difficili da fare. As a businessman it is good for me if skateboarding is popular and it sells then I make tons of money yay. And, uh, but as a skateboarder, I want my sport to be underground. I don't want it to be as famous as Madonna. I want it to be like cool underground. And so honestly, I don't even care what happens. I'm doing my company. If it goes out of business, oh well, <laughs> I don't care. Because at least I did what I did with it. I had fun with it and that's it and you know, That's it. I don't know. As far as that goes. Sembra proprio uno che sta andando in pensione comunque. E andando in pensione da una parte si sta cercando un'altra storia da un'altra. Non, non credo che sia una carriera in declino, penso che questi siano dei capisaldi che si fermano, credo che stia storicizzando se stesso semplicemente con la tavola da skate. says she loves Ev Templeton too. Yeah. How you doing? This is Hunter. So Hunter. Yep. Hunter. It's your my son. Oh uh, yes son. Mm -hmm. And you, you are Shelly. <laughs> oh bong! Bong Hunter. Oh bong! That's yep. Great, man. Maybe someday I'll be as good as at Templeton but not for, for a while. For sure man. They always do that. So oh, who, yeah. who are you? Anthony. Io non so, io mi sento un po' idealista rispetto a questa cosa dello skate. La vedo molto come io vedo il punk, cioè mi, mi sto, da questo punto di vista mi sto commuovendo costantemente rispetto a queste quantità di ragazzini che, che si avvicinano senza alcuna difficoltà ai loro idoli. Poco fa ho fatto il mio primo discorso con Ed in realtà, che non è stato proprio un discorso, lui ha fatto un discorso con me. E io ho capito. Ah, tra l'altro già che ho capito quello che mi ha detto è stato un gran passo. When I was when you're a kid, they force it on you, you know? Yeah. You have to play football, you have to play baseball. And you know, become a job kind of thing. It's like yeah. skating is the opposite.
my main thing is just carry the camera all the time. And so if I'm doing something myself even, <laughs> if I'm doing something sexual and, and I think, man, this looks, this looks wonderful, <laughs> I would try to shoot a photo of it. And 99% of the time, the photos come back, uh, not so good. <laughs> but sometimes it's like, oh, that's kind of a nice photo. <laughs> shooting my own life, I'm turning the camera to myself and, and shooting my good and bad times along with my friends. And so I'm sharing my relationship in a show. You get to see my life together with my wife as well as other people's lives. And it's a window, a voyeuristic look into someone's life. And, uh, and then aside from that, it's like on the other side, it's like I, uh, as a pro skateboarder, I've been fortunate enough to make enough money where she doesn't have to work. So I have a partner in life where I can take her with me on all the things I do and it's and it's fun. It all started because we, he would take photos of us being intimate and it, it was basically just for us. So when we're 80 years old, if we're still together, which I believe we will be, and we're still alive, it was just something we could look back and just laugh and just like, wow, you know? Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with, like, with actual the photos between him and I, because I think it's just going to be a blast. Like, we used to do that. I used to look like that. Ci ritrovo anche musica, ci ritrovo il viaggio, il sogno, l'amore, non so, l'umanità, ecco, l'umanità, molto umana. People try to hide it, but molto bello. that's one of the reasons we live. That's one of the main reasons we are even alive is because of sex, of course. And then people's lives are, are marked by their relationships with their women or men or whatever it is. It's, that's how you live your life. I just think it's an important thing to not shy away from. And I know that, and it's, you know, it's brought me a lot of trouble, censorship and, you know, people are, they can't handle some of that. Sometimes it's too strong. And to me, it's not strong. Like, I don't think anything I've done is that, is that crazy. I mean, I've seen other artists who do way crazier stuff and uh, I don't know. It's, to me, it's not that crazy. To me, it's just, I'm shooting what I see, it's reality. And none of my photos have, are uh, manufactured. Like, I don't set up any of the scenes. It's always just something happening. Oh shoot it. I saw it with my eyes, so now I can capture it and save it. I see something, I'm amazed at that, at what it looks like. I'm trying to capture it so I can show it to other people. He asked me to, you know, if you really don't want something in, just tell me. And it's the same thing, it's like, but if you feel this passionate, because he, for, he's not trying to shock anyone. A lot of people think that too. He's definitely not trying to shock anyone. He thinks they're beautiful photos. And so when he explains that to me, I just, I don't want to tell him what to do either with his art. If he, if he believes in it, then I think he should show whatever it is. I'm on the border, and uh, but my thoughts on myself are are much more loose than other people's. I think because I'm not. I agree with with the laws like for underage sex. You know, I don't think an adult should uh, take advantage of a younger girl and try to have sex with them. But having said that. I'm comfortable with that. I see the beauty and the sexuality with a young girl. I mean, even a 12-year-old girl can be very sexy, you know? And that doesn't mean I'm going to try to go have sex with them. I don't think people should do that because as an adult, you're supposed to be give them some innocence. My openness is what scares people. It scares people because I, I also, I'm not even, I mean, I'm not gay, but when I see some of the young skater kids and they got their shirts off, I go, man, that's a, you know, that's a sexy kid. I'm open with that, you know? I know I'm not gay. I don't have a problem with gay people, so... But other people see that. They, they see what I saw. I take a photo of what I saw and show it to other people, and they see it and go, fuck, Ed's fucked up, you know? He's, like, shooting young boys, getting, getting naked or something, and that's wrong. Because they think there's some kind of sexual side in it. And that, to me, I can see a clear line between sex and, and beauty. There was an 
internet site called Ed Templeton's a fag. And he thought it was funny. He knows he's very much heterosexual. Um, you know, he always says, you know, I'm married, how can I be? It's, well, of course, you know, you could still be bi or whatever, but he's not, you know. So he just, he feels so comfortable in his own sexuality. Just, you know, people are yeah, going to say and think what they think. I and if I, th if I see a 15-year-old kid, a boy, and he's beautiful, that's it. He's beautiful, you know. But uh, that's, yeah, it scares people. I think people see it and, you know, they don't know what to think. They think, what's going on behind the camera? Is there something sketchy going on? But that's because they don't know me. They don't know that, you know, they think I'm a 30-year-old man. What am I doing hanging out with these small kids? That's, that's not right. But you know me. You see my life. I'm a skateboarder. And all the skateboarders are young. And here I am doing the same thing that they're doing. I'm hanging out with 15-year-old kids. It's just how it works. In my, in my life, that's, that's, that's how it is. This is Jay Adams, Roger Yeah. So I have access to the young kids, and they know that I'm not sketchy. That's why they're acting normal around me, and I can shoot photos, and, and there's no problem, because I'm not uh, crossing any lines. I'm not doing anything bad in our world, but when you take my world and show it to other people, it's... You know, it, br it brings questions up, like... What's that? Do you know is it? Do I know him? They're 15, 16, 17, 18. I mean, that's when you're crazy about sex. Like, that's when you're really... Girls, girls, that's all you think about. And so I'm around these kids who are thinking only about girls. And they're, you know... So I'm just sitting there watching this. I'm, I'm out, I'm watching this. Because I'm, I'm married. I've, you know, I've been married for 10 years. And... So I'm not looking for, uh, I'm not looking for sex, so I'm not looking for anything, but, uh, but I enjoy, I enjoy seeing it, you know, it's like, it's interesting still, of course, I mean, it's interesting, and it's beautiful, and watching the young kids that are, are around me live out their lives, like, chasing girls around, is, uh, to me, it's interesting, because not only do I get to partake and live through their life, I'm living, you know, I get to... I get to enjoy their feelings because I had those feelings when I was young, and uh, and I get to see it again and document it. You know a temple, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. when when did you meet? When have you met him? Last night in bed. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Jerry. Jerry. Yep. And um, you're doing this stuff from a long time. Yeah, we started like a couple, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago we discovered this stuff. Yep, and some of the jackass people came with us. And we did this and we figured out that we can do something fun instead of being boring. So we found this truck bed and started all the way up on the hill and came down. But first, we had to move everything in here was all bushes. And then, you know, we chopped everything out. And this is my friend Brittany. You chopped you and you? Yeah, me and her helped chop everything down, and then we went down, and then we had fun, and then... Yeah, we almost knocked our heads off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a big old tree branch like this, and yeah, I duck your head. I feel comfortable around, around young kids, and I like to stay childish, you know? I don't want to grow up either, you know? Uh, like, what, why is there some sort of line that says I have to grow up and become an adult and be serious? Like, that's what, that's what skating's done for me. It's like I'm a... I got to keep a youth. Now I can go have fun and, and do stupid things and it's okay. They look crazy, you know? They look, they look good. They look amazing and they're living, they're young and they're living these fast lives, you know? Driving around the country, skateboarding and drinking and doing drugs and hooking up with girls and all the stuff that a, a kid does. I never did drugs, ever, so I never smoked or did drugs, so... Uh, the stuff they're doing is stuff that I don't even do myself and I don't agree with and I don't think they should do it. <laughs> it's not healthy for them, but I'm not passing a judgment. Um, they live their lives and I live mine and... I, I, I try to give them my influence when I can. Someone who looks at the photos can, can get an idea about youth culture and about skateboarding and, you know, as, 
I don't know. I don't try to make the, uh, I don't try to give the answers. I just try to make the questions. Beh, come ha detto oggi della sua pittura, ma io faccio, poi, e poi date la, la vostra interpretazione, ognuno dà la sua, cioè, non è che io voglio dire ho fatto questo vuol dire questo. Tonight we're going to go see the lady in, our, in LA and her place is so small, it's not like a, a big crazy gallery, it's a very small, very do it yourself, like, tonight will be, uh, and that's what's cool, Before, yeah. empty, empty gallery. Chris Johansson, uh, Joe Jackson, um, Amuse, Matt Linus, Jeff Soto, Claire Rojas, Simone Schubeck, Os Jameos, Cynthia Rojas. This is Marcia Goldberg from New Image Art Gallery. Right. This is the gallery I, I show at often in Los Angeles. And uh, she's really nice. Thank you, Ed. A few words on Ed's yeah. art. Yeah. I think it's his secret mind. It's what's really going on in his head. It's all his trip. It's his psyche. I think the interesting thing about Ed's art is like other people have documented stuff where, um, like Larry Clark's documented skateboarding, but um, Ed is a skateboarder documenting skateboarding. So it's kind of like it's, it's like his own self. No one's might be paying me. by Barry McGee, the Museum of uh, Modern Art, our contemporary art had him, uh, him and his uh, wife Margaret Kilgallen paint in the uh, parking garage here, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> with a swastika. So trippy. <laughs> Look at the handlebars. <laughs> the hand job.
Sì. It's all fiction. Just fiction. Non mi affogà, eh? Oh my god, you're coming down, you're coming down. Yeah, yeah, you're coming down. Oh, you're coming down, you're coming down, you're coming down, you're coming down. Yeah, you're fucking out. Yeah, you're all over the gosh. Oh my god, you're fucking out, you're falling. Oh my god. This is the main warehouse where they sell everything. I designed most of them, most of them. Like uh, this one I designed for uh, Caswell, one of our riders. He wanted uh, something like this, so. This is a you know, Templeton board. Oh, nice. This is uh, the earth pooping into the toilet. This is our classic, our main logo, the monster. Is our tour video out here? It's gone? Wow. Man, I haven't even seen the cover. Pretty much all the decisions have to go through me. It's because it's my company I, and I have say of everything. Get the board backwards. How do I see myself in 10 years' time? I think I'll still be skating, but not professionally, not in 10 years. And um, I don't know, I think I'll be the same person. I'll still be working with Toy Machine as the uh, owner and doing the graphics and things for it, even if I'm uh, 40 years old, I can do that. And, uh, and uh, I'll probably have a kid. I'll probably have a child, and um, but aside from that, I'll be doing artwork still, hopefully. Maybe people will be bored of me by then, <laughs> not want to see me anymore, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's get glasses. Sometimes some people feel better. It depends on what you feel. It feels uh, more safe. And then the first thing is just to st stay stand. Yeah, just stand on it. No, I'll try to stand. I'll try to. Lean. Number one is smashing the tail down. Yeah. So this comes up really fast, and then at the same time, you're kicking it. Oh, so you, so, so you keep it, uh, it goes like this. So keep it horizontal. Yeah, that's what the grip tape helps. It... Yeah, so that's, that's what. There you go. Wow. But you have to learn how to coordinate the both at the same time. <laughs> See, it's, it's like in five, six years I'll be able to. Migno cerca di vedere il trucco da vicino.
It's easy? I noticed the flip tricks went Fucking easy, man. Questi saranno professionisti, avranno 100 sponsor, ma se tu gli dici che, come ho detto io, uh, che mi vergogno di andare sullo skate davanti a loro perché non so fare una minchia, uh, la cosa che ti rispondono è, io skate for fun, skate for fun, you don't have to show off, io non devo dimostrare niente a nessuno quando sto sullo skate, io sono una persona che sta sullo skate, è libera di stare sullo skate, eccetera. Poi io non sono andato sullo skate, perché comunque fare una figura di merda... That's some jackass stuff. Do you want to take one? Fill this one up for him. That one doesn't have. <laughs> that one doesn't even. That's not even a real gun. <laughs> so, that's your gun? Where? Where? <laughs> that is bus. That's right. You want one? Why? Why not? All But right. they got to fill. They don't leave a mark. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like you. Beh, perfetto. Se mi pigliava qui non si vedeva. He's a now it's gone. That one hurts. It's an hard work, Dad. Ma guarda che a me mi si legge al masochismo, cioè è stato un momento assolutamente... Deve fare la coppia dell'anno. È stato un momento assolutamente gioioso quello. Io da piccolo giocavo con i miei mini pony, non so. Tutto il più da Big Jim c'aveva cioè Luzzi, però capito, lo mettevo in mano a lui. Adesso c'ho un paio di pistole, però una non accendi sigari. Un'altra un li spegni. C'aveva i pallini di ferro. Erano di ferro? Sì. Piombini di ferro. E poi c'aveva una faccia sanguinaria, io pensavo veramente che mi sparasse il culo da un momento all'altro. Cioè? Cioè se non c'era Ed col cazzo che c'è andato. Un'esplosione ha ucciso nove persone, ferite altre tredici. Strano, ah, le solite. Non fanno niente l'esplosione. Comunque ci sarà gente. Che si, mette, che si mette la notte a guardare la televisione cosa succede in Iraq no? Tu. gli hanno pagos sono <ride> Compro i dischi per leggere i testi e cantarli. Sapere quello di cui sto sentendo. This is your bed? Is this, is this your bed? Freddo, sai? <laughs> 